Sacrifice is a word that we don't hear often in our lives. That's because we are taught by either our parents, our friends, or society that we should seek to make our own lives as easy as possible. My mother, however, knew the, knew the definition of sacrifice. My mother knew that raising children would come with hard work and sleepless nights. Everything that my mother was going to sacrifice would be to the benefits of my siblings and I. A true sacrifice isn't made with the thought that it will one day be paid back. In November 1995, my mom was informed that I was going to be two months premature, and it was very unlikely I was going to survive. The doctors had told her there was no reason for her to proceed with the pregnancy. I was just going to be a failure and a waste of seven months. My mother told the doctors that she would continue with the pregnancy, even though she knew that there were risks involved. My mother's decisions were based on her moral values. She had learned these from my grandparents and her religion. My mother's religious view helped her proceed with the pregnancy, knowing that doctors, friends, and family didn't support her. As individuals, we have the right to pursue our own interests. My mother chose not to pursue her own interests because she thought our purpose in this world is not to make sacrifices for ourselves, but to make sacrifices for others. My mother was being ethical because she was acting beyond her self-interest. She felt responsible as a mother to be, to do the right thing. She was responsible, she was responsible for me before I was even around. As Plato once said, Virtue is the desire of things honorably and the power of attaining them. As a right of choice, my mother had the power to proceed with the pregnancy or not. It was because of her honor and virtue she decided to proceed with the pregnancy.